Here we go, watching paint dry. Orcs and goblins. This time it's the Goblin Doom Driver. So I started out with a plastic card movement tray type thing. And I put some textured resin sand on the top here, painted it scorched brown. I left a cutout in the top part for the crew that were pulling it back. There's another cutout on the other side over here. And this is a little piece from the Warhammer basing set. So you see here, this top layer, this thin one here, is just an illustration board. And the bottom is plastic card, and these are plastic card quarter, um, quarter round pieces. So I'm just starting off with the wood here. This is mostly wood, so, you know, some uh, Beastel Brown, some Scorched Earth, um, used Vomit Brown for the uh, mud here, this is some bolt gun metal for those bits and all the other little knobs there. And these here were, uh, I believe, a rotten flesh, rotting flesh color. So just getting the base colors down now. Doing uh, some devil and mud washes here. You can see it pooling there. Um, some griffin sepia. Now I'm moving on to the crew. So we'll start off with Narlock green and uh, Calvin brown. Giving it a wash there. Um, this uh, this guy here I lost one of the crew members, so I'm using his him as a stand-in. He's an old Gretchen from the uh, Hop Splat Field Gun 40k a long time ago. So now I've got some uh, scorpion green highlights going on here. They're going to get a wash in a minute. And you can see the wood grain in the background there with that Devlin mud wash. Here are just uh, Beastel Brown dry brushing on the base there. A um, bit more highlighting here. So Beastel Brown again with the highlight, more snake white leather. And just working up the highlights and the wood grains. So here we go. The crew almost done. Uh, this is just coffee grounds glued on there and uh, painted scorched brown with a bit of bestial brown. The green is just the scorpion green with Thraka wash and the ropes here are the same idea as on the catapult. Uh, this is just a bit of scab red and uh, snake bite leather there. There you go, this guy's getting close, trying to build up with some highlights here. I ended up redoing those a bit, you'll see later. Um, Bolt gun metal is going to get washed. This here's got the uh, GW blood red highlights on it. Just adding some teeth in there, a bit more detail on there. Kind of putting it back together, getting pretty close now. Here we go. We got some uh, static grass in patches, and uh, these things here, which you'll see a bit later, those are the swamp tufts from Army Builder. Uh, just another wash on here. So this is um, some uh, Griffin Sepia wash over top of uh, bleached bone sort of color. And then what I did, I put a flying base in the corner. I just wanted all to be a nice one unit that would go together. Actually, if you go back, you were to see the hole I drilled in the stomach. Um, the, uh, the Highland Tuft. Oh, sorry, yeah, Highland Tuft from Army Builder. They have swamp ones and they have forest ones as well. And you can see this guy it look like coming forward. And yeah, I went back, went together pretty quickly. I mean, it's mostly just the browns there, a little bit of red, green, and just a couple different variations of the tones to give it uh, stuff. The uh, bolt gun metal, just, you know, the typical bolt gun base. Bat out black, devil and mud washes, and a bit of chainmail edge highlighting. And then you're good to go. There you go. That's the uh, Orc and Goblin Doom Diver for Fantasy. Uh, this thing's great now in the new edition because uh, you don't have to guess ranges, and he gets to uh, relocate D3 inches back towards the target. So you're almost guaranteed to hit your target, which is a nice thing. Check out my blog, it's like watching paint dry.blogspot.com.